Have you ever wondered about the possibility of a world existing beneath our feet, a hollow Earth? Imagine our planet as less of a solid sphere and more of a cavernous expanse, teeming with substantial interior space. This is the hollow Earth theory, a tantalizing proposition that challenges our conventional understanding of the Earth's makeup. It even suggests the existence of subterranean civilizations thriving in the depths below. Intriguing, isn't it? But where did this idea originate from? The hollow Earth theory is not a new concept. In fact, it dates back to ancient civilizations. The Greeks, for instance, enthralled us with tales of Hades, an underworld hidden beneath the Earth's surface. A belief in an inner world teeming with life was not uncommon in ancient times. Fast forward to the 17th century, and we meet Edmund Halley, a renowned astronomer better known for comet spotting. But Halley had another fascination, the hollow Earth. He theorized that our planet was composed of concentric shells, each spinning at different speeds, with possibly a luminous atmosphere in the center. This model, he believed, could explain the perplexing compass readings of his time. Halley's hollow Earth theory, while imaginative and compelling, was based on observations and inferences that lacked the sophisticated understanding we have today. But Halley wasn't the only one captivated by the idea of a hollow Earth. Through the centuries, this theory has found favor with many, including some famous names. One such individual was John Cleve Sims Jr., an American army officer in the early 19th century. Simmies Jr. didn't just advocate for a hollow Earth, he proposed a model with openings at the poles, no less. He even planned an expedition to reach one of these openings, but alas, it never came to fruition. Another intriguing figure is Cyrus Teed, a physician and self-proclaimed religious leader. Teed took the concept and turned it inside out, suggesting that we are not on the surface of Earth, but inside it, living on the inner shell. These theories, however fascinating, are not without their critics. Mainstream science, however, does not support the hollow Earth theory. Seismic data, for instance, paints a picture of a solid Earth with waves bouncing off distinct layers, a far cry from the hollow void proposed by the theory. Gravity, too, undermines the hollow claim. Measurements show that gravity's force decreases as we move away from the Earth's center, implying a concentration of mass towards the core, not an empty space. And let's not forget the Earth's rotation, which results in the phenomena of day and night. If our planet were hollow, this cycle would be radically different. Though debunked, the hollow Earth theory continues to captivate imaginations, reminding us of the enduring allure of the unknown. Thanks for watching, and until next time, never stop being curious.